Now I'm comparing two Rubens here. The one on the right was just labeled Ruben when I got them and they're all growing nicely. And the one on the left here, which is a recent purchase, only a few months, is, is Manchaka Ruben. But it's got more green and also I think with this lot, this one, two, three here, that one there is the one I love the most because of the tips, how it curls up. Look, eyelashes. This one is just sort of straight going, wah! <laughs> and this one is just, wah! <laughs> Look how nicely curled that is. Beautiful plant. I recently bought three of this trumpet and I put them in different places to grow. Now this trumpet here looks very, very, very healthy because I have grown it in this area here right where that other trumpet is growing now so this one i've got this in my 50 percent uv shade cloth area and this has sort of showed a lot of dry leaves so this one here has got a baby that one doesn't have a baby but that one i have grown it in this pot in this shaded area sort of hidden from the sun and it has grown much bigger. That's why I decided now to take this and grow this here, still in its original soil. I haven't changed the soil from where I got it from. And this one here now, look at that. So that one there is in the same condition as this one's a couple of days ago. So now I decided to put that there. Oh, not cute, oh my goodness. This is Trumpet Pinky Blue Form. Now, three of them I got, and this one now, look, you can see that's got a baby as well, and then the one with no baby, you can see it's all dried up. I haven't cleaned that up since I got it, but it's got a lot of less dry leaves. I like to place my succulents in different spots, that way I can tell exactly, or I can find out, the growing condition that they would prefer. So it depends on the succulent as well, not all succulents are made equal. Some of them prefer to be grown out in the sun, in the open, but do lose their color in summer, and some likes to grow or grows better when they're placed in a shaded area. While we are on the subject of position, 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 <laughs> I would like to show you this very bad positioned Ionium Blushing Beauty. A few days ago, I uploaded a video of Ionium Pink Witch. And as I'm talking, I'm just gonna pan across my beautiful plants here so that way you don't uh, get bored. But anyway, so I uploaded a video of Ionium Pink Witch that I moved from one location to another. And in a matter of a couple of weeks, the Ionium has lost its color. And so, a lot of people now, uh, well, have commented about the dormancy of the Ionium. And I have stated that Ionium's dormancy, I find, this is my experience, that they are actually more temperature driven rather than, what am I looking at, rather than season. Because in summer, apparently, Ionium will go to sleep or go dormant and not grow. Now, even though they are dormant, I still water my Ioniums when the soil is dry. So I just showed you the ugly blushing beauty. And this is now a blushing beauty that I've grown in my protected area that is dormant. Okay, so this one, oh, look at that. It looks like an owl. Woohoo! Oh my goodness! <laughs> doesn't it? Doesn't look like an owl. But anyway, so this is blushing beauty, and that is also blushing beauty. Now I also have another blushing beauty. So you can see that this is fully watered because the weed is growing. It's not dry. So that's an indication. We have a look that this is well and truly dormant because it is grown in an open area. On to behind me, okay. Because I've got my shade cloth area and a lot of the plants are being protected 
from the afternoon sun now also I've got my curtains here so it's basically placement where you position your plants will determine the coloration so before I go further ahead and forget what I was talking about I'm gonna take this because I have another one of the same plant so this one is sort of still half asleep okay because the area where I had it grown is I will show you in the afternoon from or plus this is also really really dry because of the small mouth I could oh it's not beautiful I hardly watered it but where it's growing is over here as you can see even in the afternoon that gets afternoon sun so I think I'm best taking this one because let's go compare see even this one here look that small one that's also blushing beauty I love the plant and when I love something I grow a lot of them but they are dormant because they are exposed to the Sun or they get a lot of direct sunlight so I'll take you out in the front before I do so I need to take this Medusa so that one is not so colorful but it's bigger that one is very colorful but it's smaller so I'll take this big one and I will compare this one so this one again is very dry and it actually gets not as much Sun as the blushing beauty over here okay can't see but it gets enough and of course it's sort of close off now we are summer here in Australia I forgot to mention that but I'm gonna take you to an Ionu Medusa did I mention this is Medusa yeah that <laughs> I forget okay so I think I'll put this down and I'll take the other plant and okay 50% UV shade cloth area and I have an Ionu Medusa growing over here that is look at that over there so I have to go off and pick that up and let's compare now this is Ionium or some people would like to say Ionium Medusa now the Gorgon okay Medusa if she looks at you <laughs> you will turn into stone so please don't look at me I don't want to go into stone although I've got a stone cold heart and no, I don't <laughs> now the one that is stressed I would call I was I don't like using that word but it is stress now this one the one on the right and this is from Lena Lee thank you Lena so I had this for a couple of years ah, a year yeah okay never mind now this one I only had a few months so I got it at the end of spring which is November December is summer in Australia and January and it's now February okay hang on wait a minute and before I do that I need to remove this because I don't want any nasties okay now this plant here now look how wide and open and beautiful and colored up it is still and it has continued growing because I got this as a cutting it did not have roots and now it's like slap it around it's all rooted up and it's growing that's because it's grown in a protected area it gets plenty of light but no direct sunlight and what happens is they keep continuing to grow isn't that beautiful oh my goodness you are so adorable I am gonna use you as my thumbnail I was gonna put it back but then I realized that all the plants I have here apart from the coconut ice most of them are not frost hardy or should I say not that frost hardy minus four I find is the limit of a lot of the plants before they start looking ugly but survive our winter frost but then if we do get minus 11 most of them will die or a lot of them will die anyway so this one now I'm gonna leave this here now I have to find a spot for this now to grow in if I could find a time to clear out <laughs> A lot of my mess in here but anyway I'm gonna take you now out the front and let's compare this plant with another Ionium blushing beauty that was actually growing on this part here it's sort of protected that's why it's not as hard hit by the Sun but it's in between 
the other one that I showed you that's growing out is closed off and this one so the growth in between and I actually put it in the shade so let's go have a look okay so this is now the plant in question I'm just hoping I could find a video of this plant what it looks like and what the other one looked like but anyway so this one here and that one there were grown in the same area except this one are sort of higher and that one is lower so about a year ago this one looks like that now look what happened to it now this one on the other hand you've seen where I have it growing and this one look really bad as well when I put it in here this one started looking like this one so I got worried and I thought to myself I might as well take this out I mean okay not as bad as that but it was pretty bad so I thought that I'll take this one and put it over here and now she has recovered isn't that amazing you can see all the dry leaves at the back there that it was pretty bad it was heading the same way as the other big one now this area that I've got here is very protected it only gets morning Sun midday Sun up to this spot here so now if I move over here from that spot there as well they are mostly shaded or in the shade and a lot of the Ioniums I've got here are growing this one used to be all red that Ionium with a very 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 long name something Yemen form okay Yucoblepharum uh, Yemen form it is Yucoblepharum <laughs> okay let's do Leucoblepharum, Yemen form, Leucoblepharum, okay, say that again three times, Leucoblepharum, 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 okay, now, that one used to be all red, not red, 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 but more like this color, okay, that, <gasps> a bit darker uh, tone than that one, and I put it here, and then in the shade, because that's the only one I've got, I did not want it to go dormant and now it started to go green but sometimes you have to let it go green so it can produce babies so you can have something to propagate so you can have lots and lots and lots of <laughs> babies and also this okay should I actually leave you here okay that now that, now that I found out this is actually semi frost hardy so maybe if I put you this one now over here for now okay you can go there stay you might go green but it doesn't matter you will grow and get watered because I water this area frequently because of my chili and guava here these plants here so a lot of these plants that I've got here actually gets watered and also speaking of propagating look what I did this is only one week and if you say that Ionium is dormant, when they're dormant they don't grow. And this one is one week's growth because I had a case of, you can see all the holes, there's some uh, caterpillar having a field day on this Ionium garnet. And what happened is the tips started eating all the tips, I don't know if you can see from the inside there are all the dark spots. So I just remove all the eaten parts look evidence of the scene of the crime <laughs> so I just drop uh, dump it all there and now look at all the babies coming out of it look at that one a two a three. see look at that one see look at look what the the oh, hang on the caterpillar did look chewed it all up so anyway so now oh that one's nice and perfect so I'm gonna take some cutting soon and also this beautiful this is my mother Ionium sunburst how come <laughs> this video turned out to be a sunburst yeah because it's like a continuation of the pink witch anyway I'll go back here so this now I actually chop it off at the end of spring November as well and I put it here and now look at them see the difference 
Now anyway guys, so if someone says that certain plants are dormant at certain times, you can actually control the growth. Like this one's here, this another Ionium here, used to be so beautiful but I'm not worried about it looking a bit green at the moment because there's beauty to greenness. Without greens, where would we be? We'd all die without plants anyway. So now this one, I still haven't repotted this. It's still in its original pot that I bought it, bought it from or with or in. Anyway, <laughs> but except I think it only had a couple of babies, but now I got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, now eight plants. Now I believe this plant as well. Let's go have a look at the name. Oops. Look, it's already rooted. So that means it's still growing. Okay, it's, oh, Ionio Marnie Le Apostol. And this one goes beautiful as well when stress during springtime, but I'm not going to do that. I would rather grow a lot of these plants first before I make them look beautiful and then once they grow nice and big and strong and healthy then I can propagate them now this one I'm not gonna put this one back there I am gonna keep this in here and look I have a spot for it over there there's an empty spot so it can grow there so anyway guys that's all I've got for this video and hang on don't fall over. I'll just put that there for now. I've got more. Do I have another Ionium? Yes. Okay. This one I actually bought um, a couple of months ago. And look. Akafuji. Look how beautiful that is. The photos, isn't it? And I'm sure I can make it look even prettier. But look at all that. Look. And it says it's dormant. No, it's not. And tomorrow we're going to have 30 or 32 degrees still, although we do have a cooler summer this year, but still, it's still hot enough for a lot of the supposedly dormant plants to not grow. But as you can see, they are growing well into the summer. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> I already put a lot of snail pellets, look at dead snail. They just keep eating my plants. Anyway, guys, speaking of eating, I'm going to show you what I had for breakfast. Shh, you're too loud. The neighbors can hear you. Toasted hot dog buns is ready. A little bit of margarine. Homemade pineapple jam. So this is the last one. I always buy the last tub basically. I only made I think three tubs of this. This is pineapple that I bought on the 1st of January or 31st of December, New Year's Eve. And on the sixth day I cooked it and made it into pineapple jam. And no, you can't have them Pedro. You can't, oh I dropped some. It's not Mm. Mm hmm So nice. Mm-hmm. Yum. This is just pineapple and sugar and a bit of lemon. And that's it. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that baby pea. Mommy loves it. Now baby pea, you have to go to your cage. Oh, I haven't stirred up my coffee properly. See there? And we're doing the taste test. Oh, I already tasted it, but I just want you to. Mmm. 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 Oh, God. I forgot to sit the cold. 